Hi, my name is Ken Colby. I'm the author of Green Screen Wizard. Today I'd like to take a moment to show you the features of our new full screen event photography mode. Now this mode is available in our Pro Batch and Event software version 10. So why do you need event software? Well, basically, Green Screen Wizard is very easy to use. You can load a foreground and load a background and print, but it kind of takes time. So time, when you have people standing in line, is your enemy. So what you want is a very responsive, very easy to use system that will allow you to take pictures quickly and move those people through the line. So we call that event software because you're at an event. Okay, so let's take a look at the new event software. So if we just start up with our um, defaults that come with the product, you'll see that we don't have any printer selected. And so if you just start with the defaults, you're going to get a little error that says no printer selected. OK, so this is full screen event mode. So you can see you can select a foreground. You can change your background. And notice how very fast it is. And that's the whole idea. You say, oh, you like this photo? And we'll try that background. OK. So that's how it works. But since we only have four uh, images here, I'm going to exit now and pick a printer to enable printing. And I'm going to change the, uh, well, let's just go through these for a second. First of all, this is the printer template. This is the output. So this is set up to output one five by seven. Now the actual size of an image that you save is determined by what you chose in the home screen. So you can add text in the home screen, you can add an overlay in the home screen, you can do whatever you want. And when you're ready, you go into event mode and it'll use those settings in event mode. And we're gonna, the I, for most people, um, you would uh, tether your software, tether your computer to your camera and you'd pick a folder. So we're not going to do that since this is a demo. We're just going to pick a folder. So we picked Alex and family. And we're going to just go with the demo um, for our backgrounds. Now notice this is a cool new feature of the new version. Uh, it allows you to have portrait backgrounds, but then you can have different um, landscape backgrounds. This allows you to easily switch between the two because normally the, the where you want to put something in a portrait background is not quite the same as, as a landscape background. And finally we have a save folder. This is where when you save all the output will go. Now as a courtesy, and you can uncheck this, we save every image uh, even when we print it or email it or text it, we save a copy on our local computer. You don't have to do that, but that's what this checkbox is about. So let's load the software. And the first time you load a software, it's got to create a bunch of, um, of uh, thumbnails. So it may take a few seconds if you have a big, big folder. These thumbnails are already connected. So it's obvious, it's pretty obvious how you do this. You can just pick a photo and it instantly shows up. Now, the reason it instantly shows up is because there's no computation of the high res image. That all happens when you go to save it and it happens in the background. So that's what's truly nice about this. You get the super responsiveness of a low resolution system, but you get the output of a high resolution system. So we've done this on the Mac for a while. Um, Green Screen Wizard's just catching up on the PC. Now this, I call this uh, a tape deck uh, control, which I guess is a little passe since nobody uses tape decks, but the idea is you can go one forward, you can go fast forward, okay, or you can go to the end, or you can go to the beginning, okay. Now the other thing about this is, let's say, um, let's say that we took a photo now and we're 
kind of way way here towards let's go towards the front okay so now we're all the way to the front and uh, I'm going to move a photo into the directory using my laptop so give me a second here And you can see, without touching the screen, that the um, display scrolled all the way to the end to where that new photo comes in. So every time you take a picture, it'll just automatically show up. Now, look at this picture. So we can uh, kind of move it, but really that's not, not what we want to do in this case. We have a, a, a horizontal picture. So another great feature of the new system is that we can go to a landscape layout. Okay. And since this photo has got a little stuff in the side, we're just going to make it a little bigger. Now you can also see how quickly I can move it with the mouse and scale it with the mouse. So uh, pushing the mouse up and down scales it. Um, using the right mouse will drag it around. So that's really all there is to it. These aren't very good. Um, backgrounds for this particular look but you get the general idea and then you can just pop back to um, you can pop back into portrait mode anytime you want now another nice thing is um, and I keep rescaling these things if you is the uh, ability to use sandwich overlays now in the past this was very difficult, but now all you do is you when you start up Green Screen Wizard, you set up a sandwich overlay that you like with text or overlays or whatever, and then you save it into the file, the the background file, either portrait or landscape. And, and what that does is that saves the image, but it also saves a GSW file. You have to make sure GSW file saving is turned on, which it is by default. Uh, but notice what happens when we pick a, an overlay. It just instantly comes in. And we'll scale our photo. And there you go. Simple overlay. So doing overlays is as fast and as easy as doing regular photos. There's no real lag. Um, so that's overlays and your ability to create them. Okay, so let's look at adding some text. So we could say, hi from mom. And we can use this little uh, selection box to move it around. And that's kind of a bold text for this. So let's edit. And we're going to go back to, actually, we'll leave that alone. But let's go back to white text okay and we say okay and so that's how you can edit from here and you can delete so it's only one line of text if you need more text you should uh, put it in before you start the, the, the event mode in other words in your your starting uh, image okay so let's try something else green screen wizard 10 and introduces a uh, sort of meta tag so you can go left left file name and you can do file name which will show the file or you can do and that's kind of long file number if I could spell Okay, file number will show just the number. And if you pick a different image, notice how the file number changes. Now normally you'd make this a lot smaller and hide it down here. But the other reason that we have this is let's say we scroll away here and we want to type in 
two, 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 three, we can go back and process that image again. Okay. So we have a search capability, and uh, I think that, that covers most of the text options. You can also add date and time if you want uh, to this. Those are the four, four meta tags. So file name, file number, date and time. Okay, now what about output? <clears throat> now basically, I, as I said, the, we use a low resolution preview, but when we go to save, it starts a background process that will create a high resolution output. So we can do that. We can send email. So you type in your email address and hit send, or you can use this touch keyboard to uh, enter the stuff. And I set this up for uh, touch screens if you want to do a touch screen. And then we can also text, which is new to Green Screen Wizard. Uh, we developed this for the photo booth. And if you enter a, a full enough digits, then these little uh, symbols turn on and you can send it to these various uh, carriers. Okay, and then of course we can print, and we print the size and output that was pre-selected. So again, this is all set up for speed. Everything's pre-selected. You just say print, and then go on to the next thing. Okay, so whatever we want. Okay, and then uh, you can also up the number of copies. And then one other thing finally that you can do is and these images are all pretty good but let's you can suspend event mode and now you're back in green screen wizard so you can make adjustments you can go into the editor and do whatever editing you want however there is a catch you have to whatever you do to this image now you have to save it because when you go back to um, when you go back to the full screen event mode, you resume it, it's not going to save those edits because this thing computes, it's an entirely different um, computational thread. So that's a little unfortunate, but still for those times when you just have to fix something, you can uh, do that. So I think that about covers it. I hope uh, you're excited by this new product. I think it'll help you make a lot of money. And uh, I'm sure you'll find lots of uses for it. It is a new product, so if there's any issues, just let me know, and we'll get them straightened out right away. Hope you have a great day. Hope you enjoyed the talk. Thanks a lot.